absolutely love. But let's now get some good news tonight. As Kenyatta National Hospital has declared baby Saturn or seniors operation a total success. The delicate operation took at least three hours as doctors removed the bullet that was lodged in his head. Najma Ismail has the details. It was a sigh of relief as baby Saturn or senior finally let the world know that he was okay. After three hours of surgery at the Kenyatta National Hospital, neurosurgeons finally removed the bullet that had been lodged in his head, the same one that killed his mother late last month at the Joy in Jesus Church in Mombasa. The operation was not an easy one. A team of 12 doctors headed by the head of neurosurgery, Dr. Gishuru Mwangi, had to attend to the delicate and risky procedure of removing the bullet which had fractured baby Saturn's skull and lodged itself on his brain. After surgery, we were able to close up all the wounds and the child awoke uninventively. The child is currently recovering, fully moving his limbs, playing and even speaking. The hush-hush operation came as a surprise since many thought that baby Saturn's operation had been postponed for several weeks as had earlier been announced. And we did stabilize the brain. We never did anything extra from what the bullet had done for us. The track of the bullet with meticulous brain dissection, we were able to retrieve the bullet just from that track. <laughs> Doctors declare the operation a success and assured Kenyans that baby Osinia is recuperating well at the hospital wards under keen observation. Around that bullet, there were major blood vessels, there were veins, there were arteries. So all that we had to save. So we had to go in safe, remove the bullet, come out safe. Although the Likoni attack is still fresh on many Kenyans' minds, the good news of baby Saturn's recovery is a ray of hope for a country that is clouded by fears of terror attacks. Najma Ismail, KTN.